Hey, man, say, man, we back at it again, man. Nothing more, nothing less. Just three players in the flesh giving it to you live and direct on the set. This is Big Headed Cool and on the couch. I am your co host with the most busy mm -hmm. Mac and the handicap assassin. Yes, sir. You already know my other brothers. Hey, what's poppin', Big Headed Fam? It's your boy, Big Gotti. Thank y'all for tuning in with us on another yeah. one. If y'all right. new to the channel, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell because the less you know when we drop. We also got a, a special guest host in here with us. Facts. It's your boy. KVNG Versace, you know what I'm saying? New Generation Entertainment. Yeah. Tap in with your kid. I'm on Instagram, Facebook, Snapchat, you know what I'm saying? Underscore kid Versace. Yes, sir. So, uh, Busy, jump into that news, man. Let them know what's been happening this week, man. Yeah, we're going to kick it right off with Freeway Ricky Ross, man, the OG. He exposed Rick Ross, the uh, rapper, entrepreneur, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. He exposed him this past week on Joe Rogan, talking about he using his name and his whole persona Ooh. to come up in the rap game and to make it in the rap game how y'all feel about that yeah i kind of feel a little bit uh like that's a little disrespectful for, for this right. for the step up and just like plagiarizing. take some guy's name bro you know what i'm saying yeah you're plagiarizing bro you're taking away mm -hmm. somebody else's glory and you're using it for yourself and it's a shady ass thing to do you know what i'm saying because you're not throwing no money his way you're not kicking him down nothing you're not giving him shit yeah you know what i'm saying and he's been a uh that, that name's been famous freeway ricky ross has been famous legend. as what 94 yeah, 93 forever. you know so it's weird and uh i never heard rick ross even pay homage you know what i'm saying even show respect uh uh, Free Ray Rick Ross, he was talking to Joe Rogan and he told him that uh, they, uh he had a lawsuit. He tried to sue Rick Ross yeah, to take the name that. back. And uh, he said when he walked in there, Rick Ross didn't even want to shake his hand or nothing, but he shook everyone else's hand. And I was like, bruh, yeah, that's like how you ain't going to pay homage to the person that you stealing his name from? Right. Like, <laughs> you know? Yeah, that's not right. Nah, you know he know, make... Yeah, he knows he's stealing his name. That's fucked up. Right. But it's like you should at least kick him down some. I mean, you rich. Right, you know what I'm saying? Like, you got oh, enough money to afford fucking six Maybachs, nigga, you know what I'm saying? Fucking three Ferraris and shit, you know what I'm saying? You yeah. can kick this man down, you know what I'm saying? Nah, Something to get his life right, you is. know what I'm saying? Facts. Like, Facts. Like, Freeway Ricky Ross had to do all that time, go to jail, rehabilitate himself. So he's not Pull your mic closer, P? Yeah, he's not going to come back and start, you know what I mean? Closer, closer. Going back down to his level and shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nah, but I just think that um, you know, at a certain type, at a certain point, you gotta like you know pay homage, man, because you don't want to just be stealing, you know. I mean, I mean, it just makes him look bad as a, as an individual, you know. what I mean, to me, nah, for sure, yeah, I feel that, especially shit. to the OG Freeway Ricky Ross. Yeah, he's an OG. At least that's you know? what they made that show uh, Snowfall about. Yeah, but but Rick Ross said he also gave him a book, and uh, I think uh, it was the director that passed away. I can't think of his name right now, but. Uh, he made the show Snowfall, but he didn't give yeah, Rick Daniels. Ross. No, he didn't give uh, Rick Ross no money out of that either. So it's like oh, they just stealing this man's story left and right, and ain't giving him nothing. I, I just don't think that's Damn. right. Man. Yeah, people like that just ain't shit. Sometimes you know, yeah, motherfuckers get more than what they deserve. You know, yeah. Hey, but shouts out to the real freeway, Rick. Shouts Ross, out to the man. real. Yeah, right. we know the truth. For really keeping it real and holding it down, man. Facts. But what else you got up for us, P? We gonna switch gears. We got YSL uh, Woody, man. Taking the stand in this young thug case, man. Yeah, man. He, hey, man. He is a character. When he get, when he be talking, bro, he be making them uh, explain themselves ten times before he answer their question. Nah, cause they be trying to stump him with them, like he said, weird ass words and hard words. They don't know what that sh none of that shit means. Like, yeah, bring your mic up, P. They got I certain, can't really hear uh, you. certain ways to talk in um, court and shit. Yeah, I just I just feel like uh, at a certain point, like uh, he just, he don't want to look like he's snitching, but. He's snitching. You know what I mean? He up there, he talking, you understand. So, I mean, he, Facts. he he don't want to talk about his brother half the time. He don't want to talk about his family, different people. But, I mean, you snitching. I mean, I don't know how else to say. I mean, how, no, and there's one of the uh, one of the witnesses from the YSL crew. He went up there and did it without snitching. So, it ain't that hard, man, to keep your mouth shut. But they're trying to, like, stump him with these uh, weird questions and how they word shit. Like, that's how they usually get the witnesses and all that shit. It's a yeah. tricky case. Yeah. Yeah. Motherfuckers is over there. I feel like there's a lot of corruption that's going on behind the scenes, you know. Yeah. yeah. I feel like people are, are, you know, trying to manipulate the situations to try to put it to where, like, there's no dynamic for him to get an escape route. You know, yeah. they're going to push yeah. whatever they can to fulfill their agenda and make their, you know, to get the successful fucking conviction that they want, really, you know. Yeah. And to me, I know I've, I've been through all types of fucking fighting cases and shit like that, you know what I'm saying, having to go to trial and shit, you know what I'm saying, so I know when it's like a life 
situation, bro. These motherfuckers are going to pull strings. They're going to try All to right, do whatever the fuck the they can, bro. Sure, you know what yeah. I'm saying? Yeah. To take this man's life away from him. I think that, uh, in my personal opinion, though, they're, they're, they're kind of doing so much wrong stuff, though. I feel like it's going to be a mistrial. Or I feel like uh, even if a young thug does get convicted, I think that he's going to have a lot of shots, uh, a lot of uh, get back on that appeal. Because the courtroom, it looks like a shit show, you know? Yeah. yeah. You got the attorneys, you got the prosecutors, they're all going back and forth, getting on each other. And it's like... Bro, like they're scoun- scrounging for evidence any way they could. Yeah. We're going to bring all of his friends, so I hope we could crack one of them and they could turn on him, but yeah. Yeah, and it... it I mean, at a certain point, I mean, I know they want him real bad. I mean, you could tell. For sure. You know, they would have let him go. They would have gave him a bond by now or something. And they having conversations. He got money. They having conversations with witnesses, you know, without anyone present. Yeah. You right. know, and that type of shit you ain't supposed to be doing. And they know that they know what they doing. So, like I said, he probably gonna have a lot of uh, get back on that appeal, man. But free young thug because he ain't he ain't, he ain't did nothing but keep it solid. Yeah. You Shout know, what I'm saying to the whole time. in that Facts. situation. Free young thug for sure though. For sure. But what else you got up here? We got your boy Shaq, man. Shaquille O'Neal. He just uh, admitted, or he didn't admit. Um, Charles Barkley kind of, you know what I mean, exposed him and said he used to fight with pain, uh, killer addiction when he was a father coming up when he used to play basketball and stuff. Yeah. And I don't know. So he was he was addicted to opiates? Yeah, addicted to painkillers and shit because he got hurt, you know. Playing right. basketball and look how big he is for sure. Right. Yeah. So it's like he was oh, battling nice with man. that and that was stopping him from being a father to his kids. So that messed up his, you know what I'm saying, his relationship and how y'all feel about it. Yeah. That? Uh, man, that sounds definitely, about right though. That's definitely something uh, to look about. Like, you know, I, I had a friend uh, that was really like addicted to like popping hella Viking in and shit like that. But yeah, he used sure. to work at Tesla. Yeah. Got his fucking foot sliced open, bro. You know what I'm That's saying? Just, yeah, just, yeah. Uh, and, highly uh, addicted. You know what I'm saying? He started taking those pills, bro, and fucking, like, you know what I'm saying? He was just hooked on the bitches, bro. I'm talking about this motherfucker would just take them, pop five of them bitches in his mouth and chew them up, you know what I'm saying? And just fucking yeah. smack a bottle of some Ciroc, bro, and hop in his viper and dip, you know what I'm saying? Like, nah, yeah. I used to be, like, <laughs> you ain't lying, like, it gets that bad. I used to probably do the same shit. I used to wake up, take five a day, and it's, like, bad. Like, now that I think about it, like, I'm surprised I'm still, you know what I mean? Right, bro. Like, still it's functioning crazy. and moving right and really shook that shit off, because... Some people can't shake it off. And right. Yeah, I mean, it's a, it's a nasty habit. And, um, for sure. You know, it's real hard to shake, you know, opiates oh, for sure. as a whole. You right. know, when people get on opiates, you know, um, it, it takes a toll on you. And it, it also, uh, it, it, it makes you hooked, you know. It makes you want to have it in the morning. Highly addictive, right. for sure. Yeah, because yeah. you wake up hurting. You know what I'm saying? You wake up, your else. bones is hurting and shit. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Your body's aching. And you crave to have that feeling of relief. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Sometimes and it gets so bad, you don't even want to eat. You just right. want to eat the pills. And, That's you know right. I mean? Right. And then you stop eating, and then you're sitting there looking like a skeleton, wondering why. Right. And, you know, we're just trying to send a positive message, you know what I'm saying, too. You know what I'm saying? Like, if Shaq can get over it, but he got money. A lot of people, you know what I mean? It takes a lot. I don't know how how long it took Shaq to get off. It's all right. Yeah. I mean, and they play play a sport. So, you know, they getting hurt. It's injuries, you know. So, I can understand, like, him popping too many and it getting out of hand because they probably get it, like, prescribed easy, you know? And they got the right. help right there at hand, I bet. You know? Yeah, and right. it, ain't, it ain't hard for them to get it because yeah. they, they doctors have enough gonna, money. Yeah, they, they doctors going to definitely prescribe it. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? There's some people that do want help and there's some people that don't. I ain't going to lie to you. Huh? There's some people that do want help and there's some people that don't, you know what I mean? Yeah, right. yeah, yeah. No, I feel it. But, you know, uh, shouts out to Shaq. Uh, yeah, for a minute yeah, on live television and shit. And he probably... Um, he probably dealt with his problem, you know. He probably moving forward. I mean, he looked like he real successful, so I don't, right. I don't ever. I, I mean, I and can't kick shows, him. In. And that just shows you, like everybody goes through all the same struggles. You know what I mean? Yeah, right. money don't change that. For sure. Facts. That's facts. What else you got up for us, Pete? We gonna change gears a little bit, man. We got your uh, new California laws taking effect in uh, July first, man. I can't hear you talking to the mic. They be passing these new laws. These new laws are changing on July 1st. Yeah. In uh, California. Mm -hmm. What's what's going to change? So they be trying to make these new laws and just, um, you know what I'm saying, introduce them without us even knowing. And we don't even know what they're making new laws for you. So y'all got to Yeah, I seen, uh, I actually seen the the Supreme Court um, ruled that it's unconstitutional for uh, for felons to um, not have uh, firearms all their life. Like, um... they shouldn't yeah. have a lifetime ban. Yeah, that's crazy. So I don't know um, going forward how they're gonna figure out, um, you know, how if they're gonna overturn convictions or what, what's gonna happen. But 
They said that um, it's unconstitutional, you know, it's our right no, to sure. bear arms. And a lot, of, a lot of those are, un- like you said, they're trying to change the Constitution and rewrite it and make new Perhaps. laws. And we're just here stuck with it, have to deal with the repercussions and all the weird shit that they're passing. Like, Right. Oh, I don't know if you guys ever even heard of uh, what's going on, too, with uh, with Russia right now. You know, they had uh, deployed some nuclear submarines on the outside yeah. fucking uh, facility That's area. That's why everybody's tightening up. Uh, yeah. What's his name? Um Governor Newsom. So what they finna attack us? We're, yeah. we're, we're, we're declared us? an enemy mm-hmm. of uh, Russia right like. now because if we supplied Ukraine with freaking U.S. Army fucking military weapons. Yeah. And so now that they use those military weapons against Russia, mm-hmm. they declared us unfriendly yeah. now. So because they were attacked with U.S. weaponry. Okay. You know, so, by Ukraine yeah. soldiers. So now that's a big epidemic now that we have to worry about. They have nuclear subs outside of Florida right now, you know what I'm saying? Uh, yeah. Waiting, you know what I'm saying? So there is a risk that certain shit could possibly go on, you know, so nah, be aware sure. of that. And uh, like I said, Gav- Governor Newsom just uh, sent... Talking uh, to the mic, P, we can't hear you. Governor Newsom just sent people to the border Yeah. to protect the border and shit. So, yeah, it's really getting spicy. But back to the uh, new laws that they're making. Yeah. They're trying to ban, like, all those ju- uh, junk food and legislation shit. The junk food, like, uh, what was it? Like, Cheetos and shit like that. Like, a lot of that shit that ain't good for us. Right. They're yeah. trying to really start to ban it now. You said the hot, the hot chips or something? Would you say China was about to ban that shit? Oh, yeah. China banned the um, spicy noodles that everybody uses on TikTok. Yeah. The three times spicy The uh, in Denmark. Yeah. That shit's too much. Like, it's too hot for people. I don't know how y'all... And they but do what, those little challenges. You see the challenges? Yeah, I, I yeah. see the little challenges. People doing them little crazy yeah. ass shit, burning their mouth off, right. and the pan knocks to eat them, and all kind right. of shit, bro. That, shit, that shit's crazy. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> it's funny, too. I mean, it's entertaining. Right. Yeah, sure, yeah. yeah, I would definitely pay for somebody sure. to fucking yeah. to watch some fucking be all fucked up. It's funny. Gonna, I ain't gonna lie. It's fucking hard. hard. Them challenges, people be really getting hurt and have to go to the Not, hospital for right. eating them hot ass chips. Motherfucker got ulcers and shit, like, Nah, for real. That, yeah, bro. that's why you can see me doing it. I'll be done. Because a lot of the times, you know, you think you can handle it, and it, it might feel good when it's going down, but mm, later, yeah. on. later on, boy, you're going to be on that toilet fucked Shit, up. Bring your ass whole. Yeah, so. You know what I'm saying? Hey, this other bill they're passing saying that bars and clubs have to uh, admit uh, drug testing kits, small devices, and for reasonable cost to charge in there, like. You said what they have put put because drugs? people are um, spiking people's drinks. So they got to have drug testing kits yeah. inside the bars. Yeah, so they could test. That's, their a, that's drinks. a good. Yeah, that's a good yeah. law. Yeah, so, yeah that no, should be don't good. Don't get roofied no more. Yeah, because there's a lot of <laughs> yeah, a lot of date rapes going on. I think to be honest, you should have testing strips. Just uh, you so should be able to go to the store and just get testing strips for free. For anything. You know what I mean? Yeah, for anything. I think that um, Not for sure. Yeah, because fentanyl and shit like that, it's 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 so out of control that you right. should be able to test test shit that you get and make sure it ain't in there you know what i mean right because you don't want to just niggas be spraying that shit on your weed nigga yeah, you know what i'm saying they facts. could be fucking giving it to you fake fucking bags of cocaine yeah, so and shit California i bars. seen that shit that looks just like coke bro yeah. you know what i'm saying no, it does they can fuck you up with that shit it's crazy yeah so you don't want to i mean i think i mean in my opinion they should be giving out free testing chips already you know what i mean but right. for sure but but in the bar i mean that's a good idea because like you said frequent. you got you got yeah. a lot of creeps in the bar you know right. that's gonna try to spike a female drink and put something in there and then that's you know mm. she's gonna try to pull a rick ross yeah and it's better if she, it's better if she could test her drink like oh nah bro i'm not drinking this you just roofied me you know right. make you look stupid on the spot you right. know what i mean yeah so california's Next. bars and clubs should admit uh, drug testing tools starting July first, man. So yeah, but you know what I want to ask you too. I want to ask you a question. What y'all think about that though? I didn't, I didn't get your opinion about the the firearms. Do y'all feel like uh, it's unconstitutional for felons not to have firearms? By the way, um, I mean, give me your your opinion. If they're re, you, like you know, what I'm saying they went through all the steps to get their firearm back, and yeah, for sure, yeah, I, they went to proper training. Yeah. You know, what I'm saying give a give a give them a place where they can go and learn. How to fucking be a normal citizen with their weapon, you know what I'm saying? How to use it, you know what I'm saying? If you teach somebody how to use their weapon properly, you know what I'm saying? And in society, and then their mind is is ultimately going to work like that. It's going to click, so, you know what so, I'm saying? So they have to be taught. So you're telling me, so, okay, so you got a felony conviction, do you? I do have felony convictions. They I, took my I, gun I, privileges I, for the rest I of my life. I do too. So that's what I'm saying. Um, do you feel like it, it should be okay for you to, to possess a firearm to protect yourself? I think I should have one for sure. Yeah, definitely, most definitely. Anything can happen anywhere at any time. 
And for me, it's like if I'm unprotected, you know what I'm saying? Fucking, I could easily get whacked. You know what I'm saying? No or facts. fucking something could happen to me. You know what I'm saying? I have no way to protect myself over somebody else that has the same type of, you know what I'm saying, artillery. Nah, you know what I'm saying? Facts. And it's not fair for me to be able to be lacking and not have nothing if everybody else got all the fucking perfect shit that they got. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, no, like no, that no, shit facts. ain't cool. And we could take it back to the, they're trying to rewrite the Constitution because that, what's that one? Right to bear arms. We all have the right to bear arms. We don't need no certificate or nothing. That's just how they can really track us and shit like that. Really right. control us and take your shit from you and shit like that. So it's like really read up in the Constitution and really see what you can and can't do because they're trying to change it day by day right now like as we speak. All yeah, because right. it, it, it was kind of crazy, too. Um, I looked at the history of it, and um, the only in the Constitution back in the day, uh, it changed in the 1800s, and the only time your they your rights were ever supposed to get taken away is if you were the 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 crime that you committed was punishable by death. Yeah. Or property, I think they said property lien, so like you can't have a gun if someone I guess cuz you know back in the day stealing and killing, you know. That right. was the, that was the two things. So, but I feel like uh, a felon should always be able to have a firearm and um I think it's if you you get caught with it doing something stupid, then that's on you. I think there should be rules behind it. I also feel like uh, you should be out of jail for a certain length of time before you just not just like you get back out tomorrow. You you went to jail, you got out for two years, and now you get a gun tomorrow. Nah, you should have to uh, finish probation. You know, go through the proper steps and channels, and then go apply. You know, and show show you're trying to be a productive member of society. Right. But what about if they have prior gun charges and you know what I mean, gun cases? And well, I mean, they're I, bad with guns. If they have bad with it, it, it what do you, what do you think? I think if they're bad with it, like really, really bad with it, you know what I'm saying? Like, like what you got your fucking serial killing, smacking niggas just for no reason. You know what I'm no, saying? We're like, saying like, like if like you got three guns, convictions, yeah, gun charges, three gun charges on a yeah. record, should he have his? Should he have? Yeah. Should he be? It able depends to- on what the gun charges are for. You know what I'm saying? Like you could you could look at it like this. There's multiple ways that shit could happen in somebody's life scenarios. You know what I'm saying? You mm-hmm. running back, a motherfucker could have ran up on you or some shit like that. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. You pop a nigga. You know what I'm saying? Because you just trying to protect like, yourself. Like a self defense. Yeah. Type of situation. And it's, and it's crazy because like most of the time like California is fucking self defense laws are like you have to have either proper paperwork to be fucking legal with yeah. your self-defense or unless somebody breaks into your home you know what i'm saying yeah if you're if you're just out on the street with it you know what i'm saying property. and you're and you and you smack somebody on the street and you don't got no proper paperwork for your for your weapons and shit like that or whatever you know what i'm saying or you're not licensed or you're just doing dumb shit with it you know what i'm saying then yeah all by all means you know what i'm saying like you you're doing stupid shit to get you that type of attention but like if you're doing it in self-defense by any means necessary you should have the right to have that on I see you. What you're saying. you know what i'm saying like yeah I feel like I, I knew is I just had to bring it up because it would come up for sure. And I think that right. uh, I think that like I said, yeah, you should be able to have a gun. I mean, but you you should have to be able to go through the, the proper steps, the proper channels. You shouldn't. I mean, that's a lot of because you got like the reason why I say that too. Evaluation, all that. Yeah, because it's a lot of little kids, right? They ride around with guns. They get convicted. They go back to jail, right? They huh. get out on probation, ride around trying to slide, right? Them is the type of people that we should say no. You know what I'm saying? You can't have no firearm because obviously you ain't grown up. You ain't mature. Right. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But I mean, it's a, it's a it's a hot topic right now. You know what I'm saying? In the court in the courts. So I just want no, to touch, touch bases with that. And they're changing like a lot of laws starting July 1st. So it's like you gotta be stay on your on toes, huh? Yeah, you gotta stay ready. But what else you got up for us, Pete? We gonna switch gears to sports, man. Mm-hmm. We got WNBA sensation, man. Kayton Clark. She just turned down 10 mil from Ice Cube in the Big Three organization. You know, the three on three where they get play half court. Yeah. His league and shit. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, she turned down the 10 mil for that because she's uh, playing WNBA right now and she don't really got time to go back and forth and all. Okay. Like it's too much on her body. You know what I mean, yeah, I mean, I, I she mean, she's gonna go there and risk it. To end her career. And she, you know what I mean? So she might as well just stay there. Yeah, I, I agree with that because. um. I mean, the big three league is dope, but I think she it's... probably getting the bag, too. <laughs> yeah, but yeah. I think it's more for, like, when your career is over, you know? It's not like... Yeah, it, facts. Damn. I, and I don't want to be disrespectful, though. Nah, you ain't, but that's exactly what it is. Yeah, like, when your career is over, then you go to the big three and you go play. But if you still could make $15 million in the WNBA, you know what I mean? Why would you risk going to get 10 and hurting your ankle... Or trying to do both and getting the twenty five, but shit, it just—I mean, you gotta you gotta play it smart. I think she made a, a good decision. Nah, right. Facts. 
I agree with that too. I can't even argue with that, man. Yeah, and you know these, these sports get tricky. You know, some people they get out there and hard foul you, man, and then it's, it's all up. Like, get you like all said, crazy. They got that am- animosity against you. Yeah, right. yeah, even for no was, reason. Though. Yeah, you didn't even know they was trying to take out your knees. You know, it's crazy, yeah, right? Used to see that a lot of Kobe and shit. They used to stick their feet out. To right, try to make Kobe's him fucking fuck yeah. himself up, bro. It's yeah. crazy. That's, R. It's, R. P. Kobe, man. It's, right. it's, 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 and that's kind of like a jealousy too, you know? Nah, for sure. Yeah. yeah, most definitely. That's like a real technical get your ass out type shit. That's fact. Yeah, yeah but shout out Caitlin Clark, man. Shout out Caitlin Clark. Shout, shout out, out, shout out Ice Cube, and no disrespect, Ice yeah, Cube, Ice, but I just you got I, a lot I, of that going I, on. Man. I feel like uh, when you washed up. I, when you when your when your NBA and your WNBA yeah, career no. over, then you go you go Facts. to the big and three. He you know what right. he was doing? He was trying to bring a young sensation to big three. That shit would have lit, lit it up. Right. Brought you know what I'm saying his female fans, his all types of fans. Man, no, I know, agree. Get something different. I agree. Sure. She made a good sure. she, she made a good decision. What else? Yeah, maybe got? someday, man. <laughs> what else you got up for us, Pete? We got your boy Ryan Garcia getting arrested for vandalism, man. He yeah, vandalized man. the Beverly Hotel, Beverly Hills Hotel, man. Right, you know, old Ryan, man. He's a wild boy. <laughs> I don't know, man. He seemed like he's just going out of control, man. Nah, he just is. Wild. After all these accusations, he's spiraling down for sure. You know, I seen this interview with uh, Bobby Altoff, and I, I watched it, and I was like, this, he got to be off something, you right. know, first of all. You know Probably what I mean? being too pumped. He, right. Uh, he, he got to be powder or something, bro, but he's, he's, he is Kicking on. Kicking in De La Hoya too much. Bro. Yeah, he, he, he be tripping, bro, like. <laughs> He was like, you know, borderline sexually harassing the, her. You know what I mean? Right. And she was trying to like scoot back you know, I away. I seen one him. too with him this and uh, crazy. Lil Vicky. He was, it was that is cringy. fucking wild. It was cringy, man. Yeah, he he thinks because I think he thinks because he's a star, he could just you know be pushy and aggressive towards the females like that. But I I noticed that they don't like that shit with him. Right. He too aggressive. Right. Yeah, and, then, and then and then his latest his that latest should be cringy as hell. <laughs> Yeah, like you don't you don't be hella aggressive on females like that, bro. Like oh, let them sure. let them come yeah, to you. You, yeah, right, you know what I'm saying? Like yeah. you gotta let the bitch breathe. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And he got be money. smooth with it, man. Like he 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 be too He's aggressive. Real desperate too. Right. But uh, but yeah, I heard about him getting arrested the other day, and all I can say is that That's you know, shame. yeah, he young. I mean, when you young, you gonna make you gonna make bad decisions or whatever, you know. But I mean, he gotta grow up at a certain point because he got a lot of money, you know. Right. And I feel like. For you to be vandalizing hotels and shit like that, bro. Childish as fuck. You either got to be drunk, like we said, you right. know, or, or off some powder or something. You know what I'm saying? Or maybe they just fucking thought there was some fucking baby rock stars and shit. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Exactly and fucking crazy. trying to fucking trash the hotel room and throw TVs out the window like they're fucking back in the motherfucking 70s and shit in the 60s. Nah, like, you know, what the fuck's wrong with you? Nah, that's just a bad look altogether for sure. Right. Like, yeah, nah, that's I mean, just ignorant as fuck. Yeah, I mean, but him not even just childish. Like he really don't care. Like when when he be doing shit, I noticed that uh he really don't care. So right, it's gonna take some. It's gonna take a bad crash out. But um, sounds like he's an idiot. Yeah, but he beat Devin. Nah, crash out. He's crashing out for crash sure. Crash dummy. He beat Devin. And he and he redeemed himself. You know, he right. totally redeemed himself. You know what I mean? So he back. And they're trying to say that he was on some type of substance even before the fight. So. That shit is fucking mania as fuck. I don't think he. I don't think he. I don't know. I just think that uh, the money, you know, makes him feel like he could be an, an arrogant asshole. And and boxers. I mean, come it's on. Usually they're downfall right. though. Boxers, they ain't really. I mean, they they. they but you're too hyped up. You know what I'm saying? They like, ain't too educated. I'm not trying to be disrespectful. Yeah, they get their fucking brains knocked loose. Yeah. <laughs> oh, <exactly. laughs> Huh? Who? Oh no, he ain't. Don King. I was like, they're still letting Don King control people. Then they gotta be slow. <laughs> nah, I think the only smart motherfucker that was ever in boxing. That but he's like was eighty, ninety years old. Now. He was. He, he still had his brains. Muhammad <laughs> Ali. Yeah, Muhammad Ali was with the shit. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> he still he Ali, man. You know what I'm saying? He still had the uh, shout out to Layla Ali too. The mental sure. fortitude. Yeah, but um. Yeah, boxers, man, they 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 get hit in their head for for a profession, and then like a lot of them don't even go to high school; they drop out because they boxing and shit. So Facts. a lot of them school and smarts and education. That's why when you see Ryan acting like this, I say to myself, you know, he he ain't too educated, anyways. You know what I'm saying? And then he he more like a YouTube baby, man. Right. That nah, facts. that fame make you think Attention. you can do. Yeah, yeah, that fame make you think you can do whatever you want to. So, but 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 hopefully, man, you know, he gets through this one, and you know. Things go better for the young man. Yeah, good luck, Ryan, man, with everything. Shout out to everybody we mentioned. Facts. We're going to 
keep it pushing. We got your boy uh, Javante Davis weighing him and um, Frank Martin. He's uh, weighing in. He flexed on Frank Martin. Frank made Martin. him flinch. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I seen that. <laughs> that shit was hilarious. I was like, damn, that's what you don't do at the way, man. Yeah, that was funny. Um, and then uh, you know it gets real heated right there. Like <laughs> yeah. it's kind of hard not to stop. And like and Javante, man, like I mean, he seemed confident going into this one. You know, uh, it looks like it looks like it's gonna be a early night for uh, Frank Martin, man. It looks right, like he's going to sleep. Yeah, because he's in his head already. Yeah, it looked like he's going to sleep. You know, Damn. but I, I I wish him the best, but. Sheesh. I don't know, man. Yeah, I'm gonna have to always go with Javante, man. This time. Yeah, and I feel like um, Frank Martin, like he still look like you call that I like don't when even you know who that is, like really, right. he's a little swole dude. But he 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 still look like um still like he learning. You know what I mean? He ain't really de- there where Javante is. Javante no, kind of like that's what natural. I mean. It's like a yeah, you could tell the difference. Match. Yeah, hell yeah, you could tell the difference in match. Like in, sure. in, in, in boxers, it's levels to this shit. Right. You know what I mean? Yeah, you can see somebody's potential like right away. Facts. You know, they get in the ring and they're fucking not even jumping around and doing all that extra shit. They yeah. just fucking they came to play. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Facts. They came to to knock this motherfucker out and and, and claim that title. Nah, yeah. Facts. You know, you could see besides the ones that want to showboat and like jump around bad, and bad, fucking do all this bad extra shit. Up. But I could talk it and show up. There's one Terrence, dude, though, that I yeah. know. Yeah, Terrence Crawford? Hell yeah. There's one guy I've seen, literally, that he's in boxing, but I think he's from, like, a different country or whatever. But this motherfucker is one of the most potentially sick bastards that likes to showboat, but he can back it up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, he dance around and fucking, you know what I'm saying? You're trying to throw a fucking jab, 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 swing with an uppercut, and he's, mm, 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 mm. you ain't yeah. touching him. You know so what I'm saying? So you you're saying he, he's defensively sound. Defensively, yeah. he's a sick bastard, and I, I give it to him. You know what yeah, I'm see, and see, to me, the in boxing, I think that's the most important thing. Right. You know, if you have no defense, you have nothing. Right, you know, right, right, right. I don't care how hard you can hit. Right. You yeah, know? yeah. Right. I'm saying if you can't touch me, then you, you yeah. know what I'm saying? There's no point in Well, if I can't move out of the way of the punch, I can, I can hit as hard as I want. But if I can't move out the way and I get hit, right. it might be lights out. You know? Right, exactly. You know what I'm saying? But I think that, like, uh, you got to stay I ready. Believe, so I you got to get ready, man. Yeah, 90% of these boxers, move. 90% of these boxers are, like we said, they're, they're offensive. You got 10% that are defensive, and that's the ones that are thriving. You know, Shakur Stevenson, you know, um, Javante, of but course. you got to have that punch on you, though, for sure. Right. Yeah, you got to have that. Well, Shakur Stevenson don't got that punch. <laughs> mm. <laughs> I mean, I didn't want to do that. I mean, <laughs> I'm fucking How dead, you you man. That's one. a real shit, though. You been laying for I mean, are you, are you saying that he's a hard hitter? That's nah. like saying Devin Haney hit hard. <laughs> no, nah, you're right, though. He don't. Man, that's classic, bro. Yeah, no. Nah. It's like because a lot of his wins are decision too, though. Right. Yeah, and then Shakur Stevenson, he is growing into his power. He's getting a little bit more powerful, but uh, Haney's stock went down when he lost to Ryan. My, their, their defense, though, them their defense was is what what gets them through it. You know, they got great defense. You know, and if I, if I can make you miss and then catch you. You know it's gonna be an early night, like I said. And that's the that's the point of the game, cat and yeah. mouse type shit. That's the right. science, sweet yeah. science of it. Huh? Real talk. That's all I got. Y'all got anything else you want to throw in? You know what I mean? Um, I mean that's it, man. You got you got something else, Sachi? There was one thing that I was looking into. Uh, it's about Don Tolliver uh, recruiting future Travis Scott and uh, Kodak Black mm-hmm. for uh, a new Hardstone Psycho album. Okay. That would be hard. Basically, right there. the uh, release date is on uh, Friday, June 14th. The album also features appearances from rising stars Cash uh, Cobain, legendary singer Charlie Wilson, okay. and Tizo Touchdown. Yeah, I know Tizo. So, yeah, that's uh, uh, another thing to be on the lookout for. That's going to be a dope. Yeah, yeah, no, that's like a dream team lineup, right? Right. right. Now that is. That that's going to be exclusive. It's going to be legendary, definitely. Yeah, I can't wait to hear that. And shout out everybody he mentioned, man. Yes, nice. sir. Best of luck to everybody. Yes, right. sir. Now, thank y'all for rocking with us on another one, man. Uh, it's been another uh, great show, great week. Yes, sir. All right. Most yes, definitely. Sir. Appreciate you for being here, man. Appreciate y'all for watching. Yeah. Yes, sir. I am BZ Mac and the Handicap Assassin. It's your boy, Big Gotti. And this is your son, child, Kid Versace. Yes, sir. Right. <laughs> and until yeah. the next one, y'all stay safe out there. <laughs>